Hello everyone, this is Bhuvan from Selitech Learning. Today we are going to discuss about how to take screenshot in Selenium using take screenshot interface. Like this interface will provide as a method called get screenshot as. So this method will be helpful for taking screenshot of any web page. Now let us see how to take a screenshot of a web page. So this is a web page. I want to take the screenshot. So let's go to the Eclipse. So inside the Eclipse, I have created a project, a which is a Marvin. So inside that pom.xml, I have added two dependencies. One is Selenium with Java, another is WebDriver Manager. So we can add these dependencies from MVN repository. So this is the URL. So whatever the dependency we want, just search for that one. So go to that link, Selenium Java and go to the latest version and copy that uh, XML and paste it in the dependencies tag. Similarly for WebDriver Manager as well, we can search and take the WebDriver Manager latest version and paste it inside the form.xml. Now let's go to the class file and write our code here. So first I will use WebDriver Manager to invoke the Chrome browser so webdriver manager which is coming from this dependency which we have added so webdriver manager dot chrome driver because i want to set up the chrome driver so the method setup so this will set up the chrome driver for me so now the common code which is webdriver object creation so webdriver driver equal to new chrome driver because i want to open chrome so then uh, use the method get to get the URL that we want to open. So use the object which we created which is a driver and dot get. So here we need to pass the URL that we want to open. I want to pass this practice space. So just pass the practice space URL into the get. Let's use driver object to maximize the browser. So driver dot manage dot window dot maximize to maximize the window. So now comes to our actual code that is using take screenshot interface. So take screenshot the interface coming from Selenium. So what we need to do here is use the take screenshot interface and cast that interface into the driver object which we created. So we need to write driver and for doing the casting explicitly we need to use the brackets inside the brackets we need to pass the interface take screenshot so what this line will do is right it will cast the take screenshot interface into the driver object so using the ts object we can able to take the screenshot so the method we want is get screenshot as so it is asking for an output type so pass the output type as file because like we want to store it as a file so give as a file so as it is returning a file we need to store it inside an object called file so use file object so which is coming from java.io so take that so just add this ts which we removed and this is nothing but a source file that was being created by take screenshot like get screenshot as method so we need to use file utils class and we need to copy that file to the our desired location so we can use the method called copy file so here we need to pass both source file and destination file so the destination file can be like where we want to store the file so we can just create a same file object so file destination file equal to new file which is the object for the file of file class and here we just need to pass the location or the file name that we want to store so i'm just passing the name of the file so ss.png so here uh, file utils is throwing an error because we need to add an exception called iy exception so once we have added and given the name as ss.png and so this will create a 
file called ss.png after we run the script so let's try to run the script and see run as a java application so it should open the browser maximize so it should open the browser and open the url that we specified and maximize the browser then it should take the screenshot of the page which is visible so it will take that screenshot and store it in the current directory so no errors in the console so just refresh the project see we can able to see ss.png so just go to that location and see the file so we can go like this to the project so click on that image that we have so double click to open see whatever the page which is visible to the user which has taken the screenshot let's deep dive into take screenshot interface okay like web element is one more interface which is extending the take screenshot interface to take the partial screenshots also like entire implementation for the take screenshot interface is present inside the remote web driver class like which is being uh, extended by all the other web driver classes like chrome driver firefox driver so like every driver will have access to the take screenshot method now let's see in the code look take screenshot is the interface so as you can see this interface is having only one method called get screenshot as with no implementation so let's see where this method or interface is being used so if i go to the implementation for the chrome driver so let's open its implementation so it is extending the chromium driver so let's go to the chromium driver so which in turn extending the remote web driver see it is extending remote web driver so this remote web driver is let's go to its uh, implementation so take screenshot interface is being implemented by remote web driver so the method get screenshot as will be accessible to the remote web driver class as well as the chrome driver firefox driver because these are all again implementing the remote web driver so this is how like we can take the screenshot of any web page like if you like the video please do uh, subscribe to the channel to get more videos thanks for watching